I think it was remarkable um, the kind of insight that these photographers have provided us to this most incredible moment in human history. It's been outside of anyone's living lifetime that we've experienced an epidemic of this proportion. And in order for us to understand what we're going through, we depend on the photojournalists who um, have contributed their imagery to this contest, to this exhibition. Um, I found them all to be exceptional and indeed had a, I'm not going to say a difficult time selecting, but instead I'm going to say I had a very enjoyable struggle in selecting images that I thought would best capture the themes of the exhibition. Each photograph that I was presented with had a contribution to be made. There were some photographs that I'd already seen in the mass media, and so I was familiar with them, but there were so many that I hadn't seen because they were generated for an audience that I'm not a part of. <clears throat> and so I was struck by the remarkable variety of the locations and the, the people that had been photographed. Um, I cannot remember an event that has affected the entire planet at the same time. We're all struggling to understand what a COVID-19 pandemic means. And the hundreds of photographers around the world who have been documenting this professionally, I think, um, provide us with a comfortingly familiar range of stories. I can see my own community's experience in the experience of a community in Kenya or in Indonesia or in Korea. I feel as if the photo selection gave me a connection with the rest of the world and an under and an appreciation that we're all in this together. My hope is that our perception of the virus and the illness that it brings will be informed by these images in a way that causes every society and every member of society to appreciate the basic humanity that we all share. Um, while we may speak different languages, while we may have different customs and different religions, what this epidemic has done is, is forced us into the realization that we are all human beings. This virus affects us all the same because we are all the same. Whether you're rich or poor, whether your country is militarily strong or militarily weak, whether you come from a, a relatively recent culture like my own or live in an ancient culture like China or India, the virus hits us all the same way. It lays us low, it causes us to fear for the health of our children and for our grandparents. It, it provides us, I think, with uh, a rather painful lesson in what it means to be a human being on planet Earth. And I hope that by studying these photos and coming to these realizations that we gain not only greater knowledge about who we are as humanity, but also glean some wisdom about uh, our future course through history. I'm going to 
to get very personal then. For me, my connection to Korea has been through my father, who was a combat soldier during the war in 1953. Growing up, my understanding of Korea was his understanding of Korea. His memory of your beautiful country was that it was mostly mud and water and snow. He didn't have a good experience. And yet, the sacrifice that he made in 1953 has contributed to a, a rebirth of Korean society. I had the good fortune, as you know, to visit Korea in 2016. And I walked your streets and I, I admired greatly the culture and the great progress that the country exhibits. I was touched time and time again with the generosity and the hmm, hospitality of Korea. I marveled at how much the country had changed since the day that my father was there. And, and so this photo exhibition seems to me a, a great testament to the relationship between my culture and your culture. What we share is this deep appreciation of photojournalism, of storytelling, of using photography to come to an understanding of who we really are um, and bridging the seemingly large but actually tiny cultural difference between America and Korea. Um, I think it's absolutely incredible that any society can pull together an exhibition like this and celebrate common humanity. I'm very happy to be a part of it. And I am very appreciative that you would ask me to help you out.